so uh, this is the next video and uh, yeah uh, still me never surrender la garde demeure mais ne se rend pas donc um, yeah let's go on the next uh, topic and uh, I want to talk to you briefly about comments in fact it's very good if you do something complicated or not that complicated not that difficult but it's very good to explain what you're doing in fact I can for instance here put the comments means uh, this will print numbers from 1 to 10 in fact what is a comment in fact here you can see the comment is print in blue this will totally be ignored by the compiler if I launch the, this line of code the result will remain the same despite this line why because I started this line with a double slash that mean everything in this line must be ignored it's not code it's just a sentence or it's mainly to uh, explain what the code is doing so this is very important use comments uh, to commentate your code you can use it with a double slash if you want to use it for one line if you want to comment multiple lines if I want for instance to comment everything this I can use double slash and I will put double slash on each line like this and now this code code will totally will be totally ignored let's see this and here if I compile the file and execute it you see absolutely no nothing happened just the variables uh, created uh, but nothing happened here so you can do it that way or you can do it with another type of comments it's the slash star and after at the end you have to specify the opposite where the comment end and it will be star slash so everything between this and this will be considered as comment here if I type something something it will occur hello let's try this and you see here hello okay so uh, comments are very important even even if you do something um, I mean even if you do something very uh, logical for you if it makes sense to you remember that maybe you will have to open your file in month maybe maybe three months later so you will have to talk to yourself and explain compli complicated difficult uh, part of your program by making sentence so that can help you of course the future you and that can help other people if you gi if you give gave them the program they will be able to understand what you want to do so yeah you have to use comments not uh, always of course you will not uh, do something like uh, like this for instance you will not do a uh, printf uh, hello and uh, this line will print hello on the screen this is ridiculous you know what I mean so uh, you have to use it carefully and uh, you have to use it uh, for the main idea of your program so yeah this is it and uh, you can uh, also uh, use it at the beginning of the file by writing author for instance date the date where you are uh, you are uh, doing this etc 
you want to put some uh, additional information, you can. So, yeah, if you if you want, you can comment. Now, this is a very good thing to do. Very good habits. So, uh, now I will talk about uh, something else. Okay, I can't. I will will type it again. No problem. If something happened, do something. Um, I why I'm back to the if command. Actually, because I want to talk to you about something else. If you want, for instance, uh, multiple element in if. If you want to print, uh, print, uh, we'll take a very straightforward example. Um, I don't want to make a mistake. I think consonant. You want? You know what I mean? Consonant. Consonant. Let's uh, take the translation. I'm not sure about it. So let's try the English for that. Consonant. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we'll work with vowel and consonant vowels. Okay. So here we will try to see if an element is a consonant or a vowel. So if here we will uh, want to have a condition is a vowel or something here so we will have uh, an element called car1 and this element we will say it's uh, the letter E for instance and if something print it's a uh, Boil. I th yeah, I think it's like it. It's a consonant. Okay, so for instance, here you can do if care one is equal e equivalent to e, it's a vowel. You understand the idea? Here you can see it's a vowel. I will end add a new line so it's more clear. And here you have it's a vowel, okay? But in this example, this is very straightforward. You, you don't uh, you don't have any difficulties to understand it. But I want to add something, like you can imagine when if I put the letter A here, the program will tell me it's a consonant because it's not an E. Of course, but the problem is that you want to do multiple if multiple condition in if this is kind of um, yeah you have to understand that that system because it's very important so I will comment it down here to explain it to you how it works I told you that this will be actually Let's take e, e back. Th this will be one. Okay? So you will have to use two special uh, characters used both two times. That will be this one, the double bar, this one, and this one. This is the translation for uh, or if you are if you know some uh, logic and this is and I will explain it to you so first I want to show you that you can do multiple conditions by using this or this here I want to say that okay I want to do it if it's a vowel if car1 is equal equivalent to e or it's very straightforward or car1 is equivalent to a and copy and paste you can use multiple times i will put it in the full screen here or etc or of course i u o or whatever okay so here we'll go back there. Here you can see E is a vowel. I will put A in it. A is still a vowel, etc. 
okay so you can use multiple condition by using the or command this okay double bar it's a pipe actually uh, so it's a double pipe so that way you can uh, select elements you can uh, if you want to use a uh, parentheses you can uh, here you don't have to but sometimes it's it can be useful to use parentheses to uh, regroup elements like this for instance and also for this etc etc and what will happen I will explain it to you so here I want to say that of course I will explain it to you so there will be some difference in fact when you use or the double bar I will explain to you what happened if you have zero or zero it will make zero okay uh, I will remove all of them to explain to you okay this is you so this is zero because it's you and this is zero because it's you so zero and or zero is always zero okay so this will not not occur so here we will have it's a consonant even if it's wrong don't 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 care about it for now let's put a z in here so yeah so it's more clear it's a consonant because it's not that and it's not that so zero or zero is equivalent to zero is, is equal to zero so this all line will become zero in the code okay um, in fact one or of course zero will be one that means if this is okay for instance this it work because this is transformed into one this will transform into zero and one or zero will transform into one okay so here we have an example where it will be that that can be the opposite zero or one and of course it will be one it's the case when the character is a the letter a it will do that zero or one and it's one and the last one is one or one and the result of course will be one uh, in this example I can't do that but I can simulate it by creating uh, something like that by car one and car two car one e and car two here this one will be one and this one will be one also and you can see it the result is one so uh, here you have some uh, logical uh, organization and um, I will add something else I want to talk about uh, another kind of uh, logical step it's the uh, double uh, end commercial end maybe or something I'm not sure about the name in English but uh, it's uh, yeah I think it's a commercial name commercial end yeah so uh, this is end this so we will try to do something else and in this we will work with the end so this program don't, don't make sense anymore. I'm just talking about this this element. Let's do this. Uh, we will do something like a Z. And here we'll do Q. And here we'll replace it by end. And print F. Uh, it's in. It's good because it's no longer about boil or whatever. So, uh, hmm. I will maybe remove some of that. 
so it will be on the same screen yeah oh, it's okay so um yeah here so you have double and this mean that this thing this this is zero because of course e is not z and this is zero because of course a is not q and it and it nothing will happen okay so zero and zero is of course zero one and zero let's try this out here we have car one equal e so car one this will transform into one and this will still be zero and look what happened here nothing happened this is the big difference between or and and in fact here you have a zero here you have another zero of course it's the same uh, thing just the opposite and here you have a one this is very uh, logical and you have to understand it very well and um, know it by heart because uh, yeah because it will you will use it uh, very often and uh, not only in programming and uh, here you can see uh, the or is often one three time one on four and the end is often zero just one time one so in fact to make it clear the double end is I mean the double end occur only if the two elements the two condition are right okay all of them if you use or it means it's one only if one almost not almost but uh, at least one of them is one okay this is the main idea if one of them is one it's okay so uh, here we are and we will uh, of course simulate the other one so you can uh, see it on the screen and here you see it's in Ouch. it's in just because we are in this situation this is one and this is one so we have to you have the result one so it's in so uh, yeah this is a more technical uh, logical uh, system that we can use to control um, if conditions and of course you can use it you can use that uh, the same system on while and or on for etc on the other loop that you can do and uh, you 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 can use it uh, everywhere you are used to it so yeah so that's about it i think it's enough for this video i hope i was uh, as usual clear enough uh, feel free to leave some comments about uh, myself, my French accent, or whatever you want. <laughs> so uh, I m I hope I will use I will see you for the next video.